Hi guys, I Aziz welcome you to Codemaster. In this video, I am going to talk about how to concatenate multiple streams into one stream in Java. So without wasting any time, let's get started. All right guys, let's begin this video. So guys, if you look at this screen, you will see that in front of you, we have three list of numbers. Okay. In first list, we have one, two, three. In second list, we have four, five, six. In third list, we have seven, eight, nine. Now what we want is we want a stream which contains all the numbers from one to nine. Okay. So this means we want to convert this list into stream, then this list into stream, then this list into stream, and then we want to concatenate all the stream into one stream. So let's see how can we achieve this task. So let's call a stream and in a stream interface, we have one utility method that is concat. So let's call concat and this concat method takes two stream as argument. So let's call list of zero dot stream. So convert it into a stream. Okay. Then the next argument is also a stream. So let's call list one dot stream to convert this list into a stream. Okay. So using the concat method, we can concat two stream like this. So let's store the return stream in a variable called concat one. And the type of this variable is a stream of integers. Okay. There we go. So by now we have successfully concatenate two list using streams dot concat method. Okay. Now the next task is to concate this stream with this stream so that we can concat all the streams. Okay. So let's again call a streams interface. Okay. So let's call concat method of a stream interface and give it a one stream. So the one stream is concat one. And then the second stream is going to be list two. Then call stream on list two to convert that list into stream and boom, we are done. So now we have concatenate all the three strings. So let's again save the final stream in a variable and the name of that variable is concat two. Okay. So let's print all the elements of this stream. So let's call concat two dot for each loop and this for each method takes one consumer. So give it a consumer. Consumer is nothing but a system dot out print ln. So this is a method reference to print ln method. Okay. So in place of consumer, we can pass method reference. So if you run the program, you will see that we have all the elements printed on the screen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this proves that this stream contains all the elements from one to nine. But guys, you may be wondering that why this concat method is not taking variable numbers of stream. Why it is only taking two streams. So guys, the reason is pretty simple that it is recommended that you use stream dot concat method. If you have only two streams, if you have more than two streams, then it's better to use flag map method of the stream API. Why is it so? Because there is a caveat of using this concat method and the caveat is that when you use concat method, it's going to create an intermediate stream. And when we create intermediate stream, it's going to consume memory, right? So here it's going to create a third stream. And then when we call concat method again, again, it's going to create one more intermediate stream. So there is an overhead of extra stream when we use concat method. So in order to solve this problem, we have a flat map pattern. Okay. Now let me show you how flat map can help us in avoiding these overheads and directly give us a stream of multiple stream. Okay. So first of all, we have to create a stream to call flat map method, isn't it? So there is one method of stream interface that is stream dot off method. Okay. Off method takes variable arguments of streams and give us a stream produced from the given stream. So let's give it a stream. Let's say list of zero dot stream. This is going to be first stream. Now let's give it second stream that is going to be list of one dot stream and then give it third stream that that is list two dot stream. So the off method of the stream interface is taking three streams and give us a final stream containing all of this stream. Okay. Now on this stream, we can call flat map method. Okay. So let's call dot flat map and then call forge method on this stream to process all the elements of the stream. So if you look at this stream of method, it is, it is returning a stream of a stream of integer. But as you know that we are not interested in a stream of a stream of integers, rather we are interested in a stream of integers only. Okay. So this is where flat map is going to help us. So this flat map is currently returning a stream of object. 
So how to convert this stream of stream of integer into only stream of integer? We can convert the stream of stream of integer to stream of integer using function method. Okay. So function is also an interface and this interface has one method that is identity method. And what it does? So the identity function returns a function that always returns its input argument. Okay. So as we know that whenever we have one to many relationship, we use flat map to flatten the streams. So here also you can see that we have one to many relationship because we have a stream of many stream. It means this means we have one stream of many stream of integers. So we can use flat map to flatten this stream into one stream that is produced by the elements of first stream followed by elements of second stream and followed by elements of third stream. Okay. Once the flat map flatten this stream, it's going to call function dot identity method on all the uh, elements of the stream and it's going to give us a stream of integers. Okay. And then we can pass this stream to the next processing pipeline that is the for each method. Okay. And this for each method, we can pass method reference to print all the elements on the screen. Let's call system dot out dot print element. Run the program and you will see that all the elements is printed on the screen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is how flat map helps us in concatenating multiple stream into one stream without the overhead of intermediate streams. So this way of writing code is way, way efficient than the previous one that we have written using streams dot concat method. And why is it so? Because concat method creates an intermediate stream and that causes extra memory overhead. But on the flip side, flat map produces a stream by combining the multiple stream without the overhead of extra intermediate stream. Okay. So guys, by now, I hope that you understood that how to concat multiple stream into one stream and why not to use concat method and why to prefer flat map method over concat method. So this is all from my side for this video. If you learned something valuable from this video, then hit the like button in order to make YouTube algorithm happy. Please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click the bell icon. So my friend, you never miss any upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.